Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. Uh, so, we've got a little bit of an issue. I was just looking into taking some Bioflux. Our goal in this episode is going to be to get Biter Eggs. And so I was like, okay, we, we need more Bioflux on Navis. And now the problem is we are not um, limiting this chest based on requests. So it's just putting an absolute crap ton of Bioflux into a provider. The good news is that actually means we clearly have enough Bioflux for all the things we're doing. Uh, the bad news is that it means we have a lot of spoiled Bioflux happening. But that's fine, because we were going to waste this anyway. So I guess the only thing it's doing is spending more nutrients, which Bioflux creates the nutrients. So I think we are fine. Now, I'm going to replace these with stack inserters. I think previously I was scared of that because of maybe too much Bioflux usage, but it should be fine. Um, and that'll get more nutrients on this loop, just in case we need them for some reason. They're stacked nutrients. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is actually fine. Um, and then we just need... Obviously, this stuff is going to spoil eventually. So we need our spoilage getter rid of rubber. Like so. And I think that actually does it. Um, the problem is the chest being full. Hmm. I don't want the chest to be full. Maybe I go to 2,000. Maybe I just limit... Maybe we just say goodbye to the, the logistic connection that we had. The reason it wasn't working, by the way, if you didn't figure it out, it took me a second, um, is basically the, the issue is that oh, but bots aren't going to take freshest first. It's kind of annoying. Um, it'll probably equalize-ish, but we could randomly get bots ignoring one tile, and then eventually they grab it next time and it becomes the most spoiled thing. Yeah, there's some annoyances with this. Um, an easy way to fix that. So anyway, uh, what was happening is this was reading the rocket requests. Actually, no, something's wrong. No, no, it's not wrong. Why are, why, uh-oh. Why, uh, is Blaba broken? What's going on? Why are we not sending any rockets? I have no rocket fuel. Oh. Oh. Um, anyway, the, the issue that w was happening is that the request, as long as it's sent, isn't getting fulfilled by putting it into the chest. When I was reading the logistic network requests, if I needed 100 Bioflux, and then I put 100 Bioflux into here, that would actually equal out with the the negative request and so we would end up stop we would stop putting more in once the request was satisfied even before bots had come pick it up and stuff but that doesn't work with the rocket silo because that won't be satisfied until those contents arrive into the rocket silo now why is rocket fuel stopped that is extremely problematic it's because there's no jelly on this belt it's because there's Spoilage on the end of it. Um, I don't really know why that happened, but should be fine. To oh no, that's just one piece of wood on the end. Hmm. Maybe the problem... Why am I feeding... I feel like I should just be feeding both from the chest. I don't know. Spoiled first. So we just weren't using enough right here? 
But why were we not using enough right here? These should be running constantly because all the extra goes to get burned. So those should be running, con these should be running constantly, I believe. Is that, is that not right? thought these were running constantly. Um, I guess I can replace these with stacks to make things a little nicer. Uh, actually, no, that won't make things nicer because of seeds. I'll put one stack in one regular. Um, but yeah, what? even if rocket fuel isn't running, these should still be running. And these should have been making that into jelly the whole time. So yeah, I'm actually confused on why that stopped. Interesting. So this system is supposed to be set up to prevent that. I think I am gonna go ahead and fix this whole thing to just be based on one thing here. Um, I might need a second inserter. And then all these wires. Let's see. I really just want to measure the chest. Okay, so this should be a good buffer now. And then we need to do spoiled first on that inserter too. We should keep things cycling properly. Yeah, I'm really confused on why that stopped. What could the issue have been? Jelly is never gonna back up, it's just not possible. Hmm. These machines had stopped running, that could. That still wouldn't have. It's like these would have had to have stopped. I am perplexed, to say the least. idea. Because these run constantly. I mean, if we ran out of bioflux to put nutrients into these, I guess that could cause it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. But, it's working now. And now we've got bioflux getting picked up by the Glavian Nightmare. What's the rocket capacity? A thousand? Why don't we do two thousand? None of that two hundred minimum payload crap. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have mostly spoiled science this time. Uh, but that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Cool. 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 So that'll all come back here to Navis, and then. Bioflux will get offloaded. And we'll just offload all of it. It'll turn to spoilage eventually, so I don't think there's a need to like buffer anything anywhere. We'll just get more and more spoilage in the network. And now, let's look into biter eggs. So, these bad boys, I need to research by capturing a spawner. So, step one is making a capture rocket. So a capture rocket 
is steel plates, processing units, flying robot flame, frame, and bioflux. So... I mean, I think it just makes sense to do a mall blueprint for it. Just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I need a new a new mall area. Yeah, there's some space over here. Something, something with more space. Um, so, capture, bot, rocket, they stack to 10, so let's do, I don't know, four stacks. It should be more than enough for, like, forever, it seems. Maybe not. Um, but then, we're gonna need a spoilage, get her rid of her for this requester chest. So we probably should only enable the requester if we don't have enough. So we enable if capture no capture bot rockets are less than 40 and then we have a spoilage getter ridder of her on the requester chest no trash unrequested that's the same thing well sort of Yeah, Waskily, same thought. Okay, so now I've got those. Um, we are getting attacked. At some point, I probably should think about artillery so we can start clearing, clearing the biters back from near the walls, and then that will prevent most of the attacks. Their, their biter expansion has certainly done some work. Uh, they are kind of everywhere now. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so capture bot rocket, and I need. I assume I need I need a rocket launcher, right? They're not like grenades. So rocket launcher, you can just craft one. I don't really care to make. I could make one with higher range, but. Oh, the fact that I didn't do artillery yet is good. You had to go ages away from your base to capture biters. Yeah, that is that is something to consider. Um, like, it's possible I should have walled things off differently over here to let biters in. You know what I mean? Because the way that I've done things... Uh, actually, no, this is going to be perfect. This is the base. There's four spawners, five spawners that we can grab. Um, so, yeah, that will be our biter zoo over here. So let's get... some new wall... pieces. Kind of built up here. I know that's not really right, but I'm going full lazy mode here. Uh, Alright. And then get some more bot coverage here. Is that too close? It might be too close. Um. Something like this. Okay, that will probably take a while. But we'll use that area. Um, and then... Hmm. I probably should start rolling some better equipment, but I think this is good enough to do what we want to do. So we've got 
Oh, can you set targeting priorities on these? No. So these are going to kill the spawners if I'm not careful. It won't happen very quickly because they probably have the 3,500 health by now. So I'm not too worried about it. So let's fly over there and try to take out some stuff and see if we can capture these bad boys. Let's see what a captured biter base looks like. Now, will they kill if I capture one? Oh, cool. Okay. So, they just... Oh, they do kill it. Wait, what? Oh, they like un... I'm so confused. Wait, are those dead now? I can't highlight it. Wait, it is highlighting, but it's not? Mm, protected from automatic shooting. I see. That's weird, though, that it doesn't have a, like, a highlight thingy. Okay. I see. So, so I still need to, to capture two more, unfortunately. Um... Am I in the request area? I am if I stand here. Oh, but then they're gonna... No! Didn't work! I need more rockets! <laughs> hey, but biter egg handling got researched, so there you go. Uh, we don't have enough rockets. Capture rockets... I needed more than nine. For now, I shall request 20. But yeah, so we'll, we'll capture some biters, and then we're gonna have to take bioflux all the way over to them, which is a little problematic because of these bases. We may... Uh, no, it should be okay. Maybe it'll be fine. I'm hoping they don't fly down to here and then over. But over and then down. Uh. Hello? I have ten. Where are the rest? I mean, did I not type twenty here? Oh, they're it. Ha 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 ha. They're in my. They're in my thing. Um, okay, so now we run back over, capture the other ones, and then we're going to need... Hmm. Have I researched rocket turrets yet? I have. I need carbon fiber. Ah. Right. Well, there's another request to put on the Glabian Nightmare. Rocket capacity 500, so... Request a thousand carbon fiber per trip. And then we need to request that here. What is it stacked to? 100? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's good. And now we capture these last two bases. Take out these biters. Cool. Okay, so now we need to feed you Bioflux, or you will perish. Okay, so I will bring some Bioflux via... River port, and then probably should put some laser turrets here, just in case mechanisms. It'll Justin strikes again, and then we need a requester chest for bioflux. 
I have no idea how much. We'll say 300. I'll probably do some sort of uh, sushi loopy here. I guess it's not really sushi if it's only one item. But I will do a belt loop. And I'll say to read the belt. And this is only enabled. Yeah, let's do like 200. This is only enabled if Bioflux is less than, I don't know, what can I fit on that belt? 150, maybe? Yeah, they don't use a ton. They use 100 kilowatts. I don't remember how much Bioflux has, though, in terms of juice. Uh, Bioflux has six megajoules, so that's a full minute of food. Yeah, per Bioflux, so they really don't eat very much. Okay. And then they just craft eggs. I assume you cannot beacon these. But, you know, one one must investigate, just to be sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can't beacon the biters. All right, so we making eggs now, boys. Um, cool. Okay, so yeah, 150 is a bit, uh, a bit much. And that's enabling the requester. Not the not the inserter itself. So the problem is it's gonna spoil in waves. Uh it's fine. Honestly. I think. I mean I guess we can reduce the usage a little bit at no cost to myself. So let's let's do that. We'll save more bioflux for making nutrients elsewhere. So this only goes if nutrients are less than 100. This is only going if or bioflux is less than 100 on the loop. Stack size is one. And then this will trash unrequested. So when it gets to 100, it'll actually turn off and put everything back into there. Uh, I think. But shouldn't it be disabled right now? And therefore trashing... Oh, it is disabled. But it won't trash its own type, I guess? Okay, so anyway, now we have a crap ton of eggs that we need to manage. Mischief managed. Okay, so, biter eggs, eh? How quaint. Uh, this is why we have the emergency management system going on. What's their spoil time? Why does it not show me in here? Does that feel weird to you guys? Feels weird to me. I guess because... Oh, they don't start spoiling until you take them out? That's kind of interesting. So you could wait until you have a need for biter eggs. I actually kind of like that. Um, but they have a 30 minute timer. So that's not terrible, but not great. Um... And yeah, this doesn't really matter. 
I mean, I know technically, like, the spoil time is going to be slightly different, but turbo belts are so fast, like, this is not... This is not going to significantly affect spoil times in any way if I save a couple tiles of green belt. So, yeah, the whole fish thing, we did look into that, I think, in a previous episode. And since you can't put productivity modules in the... I don't know if it's both steps or at least one of the steps of the fish recipe, it'll never work to be self-sufficient. Um, but yeah, so why don't we put into a... How do I do this? Like, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Bear with me. So I put into a passive provider chest here. And we wire this up to all the inserters that are taking out of the things. You know it's going to be a good idea. You know, you just know what I'm thinking of is not a harebrained scheme. Alright, uh, wire all these up. They're gonna go if spider eggs is less than 500. I don't know, we'll just go with that. Why is the signal up? Because I'm not actually putting them in. Uh, let's do that. What do they stack to? 100? Okay, so those are stopped. Those are stopped. You know what we need? Is freaking more RoboPort coverage for charging out in the water here. Because they're going long distances with nothing. So something like that would actually help a lot. Fish to get high quality. Fish to build legend. Oh, yeah. Because you need fish for spider trons. It makes sense that you would need higher quality fish. Okay, so now we've got this going on, right? Uh, what's the actual rate? They make half an egg per second each. So right now I'm getting five eggs per second. No, sorry. 2.5 eggs per second. So then... What I want is spoiled first, stack size of one, and we can modify the length of this belt by adding additional segments to it. And then we will use the good old fashioned, if I can find it, inventory's getting too big. Wait, do I not have any? Why do I have no heating towers in my inventory? Oh, I had to leave them all on Gleba. That's right. I haven't made any on Navis yet. Um, so we'll just incinerator the eggs. Like so. And then, the way that we keep Oh, can this incinerate them fast enough? I didn't really consider that. 16 megawatts, 6 megajoules. So we burn 2... 2.5 per second would be 15. So this actually can burn all of them. Oh, you can just recycle them. Oh. Uh, for whatever reason, that didn't occur to me. It... Okay, hot take. This shouldn't be allowed. This feels wrong. I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to recycle uh, bio stuff. You should have to incinerate it. It feels weird that you can do both to me. And also, funnily enough, this is actually slower. Um, but there we go. Oh, will that be good enough? Yeah, because we only get 1 16th back. So 2.5 plus 1 16th of 2.5 is still not 3.5. So this can this can recycle all of them if it needs to. The problem is, is this too fast or too slow? Like how many items per second are we talking? That's probably too fast. So what I want to do then 
is change this inserter to read this belt. And the inserter only works if fighter egg is less than, we'll go with less than one to start. So like, it'll just cycle cycle out the oldest eggs. The problem is if there's too many eggs, we need to cycle out more of them. No, no we don't. No, because we're limiting the output to only... Oh, this one's not limited, by the way. Um, we should triple check that we have all the limits set. Check that one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we only actually farm the eggs if we have less than 500. Those are all connected to the same network. Okay, good, good. A Spider-Tron army does sound nice, but yeah, the, the fish loop to get legendary fish is super necessary. Um, I, do, I do see that. Yeah, jetpack, this is just the collection mechanism. Basically, I I could I could wire everything up so that I don't even take them out of the hive until I have a request. But that's actually more complicated, I think. This is a simpler way of just consistently getting rid of the most spoiled of the 500 and then when we drop below 500, they'll grab a new bunch. I think this will work okay. Um the bioflux will spoil on the belt, yes, so thank you for reminding me of that. We need a spoilage getter ridder of her uh, here, which maybe that's what we'll use the heating tower for. I'm curious how fast spoilage recycles. But the heating tower is smaller than two recyclers, so that should do it. Um, so yeah, there we go. So we've got now a supply of biter eggs that should always be semi-fresh. Um, because we're always trashing the most spoiled ones. And then we'll grab new ones. So this is kind of rotating out the most spoiled ones constantly. And I guess we should also have something that, uh, shoot, crap, um, okay, I know this will introduce the possibility that an egg spoils, so we'll do that, just to make sure. Uh, they're just big biters, so that's really not that big of a deal. And now I want to disable a belt. I want to stop burning them. If, like, if we're requesting all the biter eggs, I don't want to be burning some of them. So this, if biter eggs are greater than 450, then we'll actually let this belt run. If, if we're using up the biter eggs and it's less than 450, this will just kind of back up a couple. It does say spoil result is 1x big biter. A hundred, yeah, I mean a hundred of them at once would be if they spoiled in the container. I'm talking about spoiling on the belt, which would only be up to what? If that belt's not running, we could get up to four, but it probably won't even insert up to the, so it'd be like three, and they wouldn't even be the exact same timing. Eh, they might, but I think we have enough turrets here if eggs on belts were to spoil. I don't think we have enough turrets if a whole hundred were to, to spoil at once, but I don't think that's possible with this system. I will also take a few to kind of reset the cycle. Um, And I'll get rid of all the ones in my inventory so we don't have any 
jump scares with that. Sweet! We did it! Biter eggs! We got biter eggs. So now I have a, a, a rotating, fresh supply. Sorry, I can't figure out where to sit. I can't get comfy today. Um, rotating, fresh supply of biter eggs. Now, what do I do with them? We can make broad threes. That certainly is, is one goal. But I think I want to work toward... Wait, what? Oh, you can make your own? Oh, but you need to go to Aquilo. I see. Okay, well that's not happening anytime soon. But this is what what I want next. I want the the bio labs. So then our research goes twice as far. More than that once I put prod modules in them. So that's going to get great. Oh, biters fight pentapods. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. I wonder if someone will make a mod then that allows you to load a bunch of biter eggs into an artillery shell and it shoots <laughs> it shoots biters at the pentapods and vice versa. You could bring pentapod eggs back to Nalvis and then it, you could shoot pentapod eggs on top of biter nests. Take biological warfare to the next level. I really want that mod now. Egg artillery. Come on, make it happen, somebody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Nolius kind of already had that going on. So, that feels like a great idea. Take both types of eggs to, to Vulcanus to, to take out the demolisher. Fill a car with biter eggs. No, no, no. You fill a tank with biter eggs and then remote drive it near near a nest and then just let all the eggs spoil. That would be funny. Okay, so what am I doing here? Oh, I was just waiting for that to get done. And then now it is. I think. I think this is good to go, but this certainly is a scary certainly is a scary system. Um, now what happens, I, I have the turrets if they ever go rogue, um, I forget, do they, so someone who's in the chat probably knows better than me, if, um, what am I trying to say? If they go, let, let's just say I run out of Bioflux literally forever. I know that there's a grace period where they kind of are, their health has to go down. If they eventually go back to, to Feral, will they start spawning biters again? Yes, I think the answer to that is yes. But the main thing I'm wondering is, will they ever be targeted by laser turrets? Or do I need to uh, just target all the enemies and then ignore unlisted? That's the thing I, I don't know for sure. I know they'll ignore it as a target for a while. Will it ignore it forever, though, is what I don't know. Also, how are these all captured biter spawners? I swear one of these was a spitter spawner. But Jetpack, when did that happen? Because I actually have this vague sense that they changed this in one of the patches. And that could be wrong too. But I guess we could... I guess we could make sure we're fine. It's not that hard. Uh, I don't think the worms could ever spawn, right? But what the heck? Let's just... Ah! Make sure we're fine. Ignore unlisted targets. And now I forgot which one I clicked on. Oh, that one. The one with all the little alt mode symbols. Okay. Laser turrets are properly aligned to not kill the spawners in case of emergency.
And now the only thing that's still up for question is... Is this killing the eggs fast enough to keep the total spoilage down? So that got to 66%. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this and see what the most spoiled pile looks like after another, like, five minutes. Yeah, Maria, I am a bit worried about the uh, the laser wall that I have set up. I probably need to install rocket turrets on Gleba. Because I do, I do know that the laser resistance of Stompers is quite high. So that, that could become an issue. If we lose the Gleba base, we lose the Gleba base. I can, we can rebuild. Just in case. So, let's, uh... <laughs> Say, let's save the blueprint of the Gleba base. <laughs> in, in case of real emergency, we can extract the pieces we want from it. Um, Tesla jumping ignores the targeted ignoring. That does make sense, but that's a good thing to think about. Um... Rock mod, you're saying that you let a spawner go wild and turrets never targeted it for hours and hours. Yeah, I thought that's how it was supposed to work, so. I don't know. All that to say, we can now make bio labs. Woohoo! So. Okay, now here's the question. If. <laughs> this could really mess things up. What happens. If you request a biter egg, a bot goes and grabs it and it spoils midair. Does it just spoil underneath the the bot? Or does it wait until the bot gets to where it's going? Cuz if it spoils underneath the bot, that would be kind of hilarious. Cuz then we could have a weird issue where it grabs an egg I mean, it's never, as long as the spoilage minimum for this leaves me with, you know, 20 minutes, we'll be fine, but. Yeah, I mean, we've got a full 20 minutes on that. <laughs> Bots in the robot network sound like a source of pain? Yes, they are, indeed. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. What if it spoils while the bot is flying over water? Does the biter die? Does it does it get teleported to the nearest land? Like, how does that all work? I'm actually quite curious how that all functions. Um, all right, let's get... You know, I really should have come up with a proper dragon's teeth design, but I couldn't, couldn't be bothered. Okay, let's do biolabs. So, biolabs can be crafted. Oh, I got really scared for a second. I saw construction surface conditions and I thought that was Gleba. And I also thought that was, I had to craft these, not build them. On, and I was like, wait, I have to send biter eggs back to Gleba to craft a biolab? That would be like, Pyanodon's level of nonsense uh, that I was not happy about for a minute. No, we can just we can just mo uh, bot maul this. So we'll use our new bot maul um, area for this. Craft bio lab. They stack to five, so I think four stacks is perfect. And we're gonna have to do some of the same stuff here. Now, this I will not trash unrequested. I don't want those biter eggs going anywhere else. Um, what I will do Well, I will do the enable disable thing based on whether I have enough bio labs. So we'll start with that. So, enable if biolab is less than 20. So we'll start with that. And then, what we'll do... Just had a brainchild that we should get some higher quality labs if we can. Um, 
Nice 20% chance to upgrade there. Oh, the overgrowth. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh. Yeah, if we, when we go back to Glaba, we will need to bring biter eggs for the overgrowth soil. That's right, this stuff. Yeah. Welp, I guess we will need to take biter eggs back. That's scary. I've seen some pictures of biters on space platforms. It happens. Um, okay, so anyway, the, the biter eggs will get here. And now we're gonna need a system that trashes the eggs I don't currently need directly into a recycler. <laughs> we're not taking any chances here. And uh, we're not taking any chances. I mean, we have a lot of laser damage upgrades. How much health does a big biter have? These are doing over 100 damage per shot. And like, five shots a second. What does a big biter actually have? 375? So they're getting three shotted. So we're killing more than one per second uh, with each laser turret. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, a full stack should spoil into 100 biters, as far as I'm uh, aware. Okay, so then this guy is going to have a condition where it will actually insert... I'll just make sure we have a stack size of one here going on. Uh, and I will do a stack size of one there just to prevent... Oh, no. Okay, hold on. I actually don't want the output one to stop. What I want is the input one to stop when we have enough. Because what I don't want is for us to end up with eggs inside this building. Wait, I don't have flying robot frames in the network. Okay, hold on, we gotta fix that. Um, mm, 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 mm. Flying robot frames. Give me. Okay, uh, so that's done. Uh, but yeah, what I don't want is for eggs to spoil inside of this because we're not crafting them. Unfortunately, it's possible if we were to run out of any of these things, then eggs could spoil inside the biolab producer, but I think most of the time it's just gonna produce what we need and we'll be fine. So I don't think that's too much to worry about. I don't think so anyway. And yeah. This should work, I think. I'm too slow for my taste. Um, and now we gotta move that down. Good. Oh, crap. Wait, what? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We forgot to actually set the condition. Uh, so when Biolab is greater than or equal to 20, then you will grab the biter eggs from the chest and yeet them into the recycling. And then this, at that point, will have stopped requesting. It will have stopped the requests because we have the 20. And this should be done inserting. Once we have enough. Now the problem is biter eggs come in sets of 10. So we never want leftover biter eggs. So should we do stack size of 10? And then will we be okay? I hope. Maybe. Bots bring four. I'm not worried about what bots bring, because this will trash when we have enough bio labs. This will trash whatever comes here, and then this will have stopped requesting at the same 
beneficial. So that should be fine. What I'm worried about is just the eggs ending up in here. That would spoil. But if I'd only do 10 at a time, I think we're okay. Because that'll only be full crafting's worth of biter eggs. The, the last question I have is, will this put 20 into here? Because then it could put 20 in. It makes the one. Still has 10 left. It doesn't have enough ingredients to start the next one. But then that also happens to be the 20th bio lab. And in that case, it then wouldn't insert the rest of the stuff and we would get 10. Spoiled. But I don't think it's going to put 20 is the thing. But we'll just have to wait until the eggs get here to find out. Um, the eggs kind of go on a magical journey. So having a charging port out here would also help things a bit. Maybe one more this way. Biolabs? Recycle into biolabs? What? Why would I know that? This game frustrates me sometimes. I feel like it's not consistent. It's just an assembler recipe. I, I have no re- Is that true of everything that requires eggs? Like, it, it just feels... Inconsistent. What recycles into what. Um, also, we've gotten a lot of uncommons, given it's only a 20% chance. Uh, it looks more like a 50% chance to me, but look at that freaking research speed. It's beautiful. All right, so that's probably all the labs I'll need for now. Um, can this break? Probably. Let's just throw a few more laser turrets at it just in case. I'm sure that's enough for even 60 biters. I think those can handle 60 pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, it'll kill 20 biters more than 20 big biters per second with that amount of damage. I'm sure the laser tracking and there's probably some delays and stuff, so it might not actually kill them that fast, but that should be more than enough. Okay, so now look at that. All in one episode, we're getting bio labs. Now we make the bio labs. I'm going to ignore this setup for now. I'm going to build it over here to start. Because these things are going to be honking. 9.1 research speed? Mm, delicious. And do I still want sushi? I think so. They're stacked now. So that's nice. And do beacons work well as expected? Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. What's up, Derpamu? Welcome, welcome. So these alone are getting me... This is where I wish I had max rate calculator. Uh, what is that? 20, 50, 85, 100 and something, 130, 140 research speed. And right now these are all 3.15... And I have 64, so that's 180. So these five alone are almost as much research speed as this. And that's not counting the 28% productivity, making them even faster. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we do not have issues we previously had with research speed. And these are gonna save so many packs because the drain is 50% and the productivity is 28%. So that gets us to, let me pull out the old calculator. 1.28 divided by 1. Point, or divided by 0.5 is, we have 2.56 as our final productivity multiplier. Yeah, and I'll do prod threes of higher quality for sure once we can. Um, I think that's, it speed, yeah. 
3 times 64, 3.15 times 64 versus that times 6. Yeah. That's pretty great. All right. So then... We'll just do this. I will have to increase the numbers. Um, that we actually put on the belts because it's not going to be enough anymore. And then we'll need spoilage, gitter, ridder, rubbers. Um, I mean, I could put another row of beacons here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on now. For a minute, I thought I wouldn't be able to fit another row of beacons, but this is the beauty of Sushi Belt. Now we can make research instant. All right, beautiful. Now we do the spoilage Gitter Ritter Overs, uh, which we should have that design. Unlock. Okay. Wow, we already had some. That's crazy. Okay, so then now at this point, I think we're going to be pretty good for research. Um, so let's just increase our numbers. Now, again, this is a place where it feels so weird to do this. But you just copy everything, you plop it down here, you parameterize it, you find that that number of 85, and you pump that number up uh, to, I don't know, at least double. Let's just go to 200. Because that's the, that, that one. And then the 65, ah, let's just make it all 200. I don't remember, I don't know what the 150 or the 200 are, I don't need to. We just change those numbers, we save it, and then we plop it back down over the exact same spot, and that should fix the numbers. Oh, that was 150? Wait, that didn't actually work? Oh, I didn't hit the confirm. I clicked out of it, and that deletes it? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I get really frustrated with some of these UI decisions. Clicking out of this should not just undo everything and delete it with no... Like, clicking out of it really just shouldn't do anything. You should have to... The only way to delete what you've entered should be this button right here. Just clicking out of it should either save it or not click out of it in the first place. It shouldn't. It just shouldn't close the window. Uh, that's actually really frustrating. Anyway, the 150 apparently is the the Gleba packs. What was 65? Oh, space science just never got changed apparently. Okay, so those will change to 200 each, and then Gleba. Because remember, we've made the belt way longer, and we have a stack size of three now. And then the Gleba science will be. Confirm it, save it. That's really weird that you have to do it that way. Yeah, and then that'll overflow the belt for a bit, but it'll it'll balance out. Um, and that should do it. And then yes, uh, not tearing up the old science pack labs jetpack. You ask? No, we will. No. I was just waiting until we got that all figured out. We don't want to accidentally delete stuff that we need, though. With the old, in with the new. Now, 
Now, then that begs the question, shouldn't I have just put that over here? Whatever. Our base is a hot mess and we like it that way. That's, that's what I'm gonna say. All right. We just want the science to go on a little journey before it gets there, you know? It needs to go on an experience. All right, let's see how fast we can research something. Also, do I need another... I might need another, um... Spreader outer. Now that the belt is a lot longer, we might need another one of these. Uh, let's see. Why are construction bots coming from across the planet to get things done? Maybe I didn't have enough nearby. Uh, anyway, spreader outer. Maybe one here. measure this belt and this belt and bring that measurement to this network. Okay. That should do it. Keep things a bit more evenly distributed. Wow. What chaos. It's beautiful. Our little base. All right. Uh, yes, we are some sort of spaghetti monster. That's for sure. Now, let's research something. Let's see how fast. Oh, God. This is going to go like instantly. It's only 300 packs. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's awesome. That's awesome. We're not even all running, apparently. Oh, I wonder if. Hmm. Maybe three hundred's too low. I really should fix the system, let's be honest. <laughs> this this lag time is not helping. But yeah, I think 300's too low. Look at how fast it burns through the packs. Granted, they're pretty spoiled, but still. Let's double that to 600. Ah, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> what a what a time-tested friend. But yeah, realistically what I should do is just put you know, requester chest like, I could easily do something like requester chest, stack inserter, belt, and then that belt is the one that is on or off based on conditions. And then I could even copy that over here. I mean, that it's just work I'm not going to do right now because this is working fine. But yeah, we got prod three research. Let's do this one. This will help. It'll help all my normal inserters. Not that I have a lot anymore, but the long handed inserters are the ones that I care about there. But yeah, we'll work on this bad boy. Um, remaining time estimate. We'll see what we get going here. Because we still are only making 75 SPM at steady state, but now that's going to be worth a lot more, right? 75 SPM is now worth whatever number we had. Uh, it's like two and a half or whatever. So 100 and... 80 SPM is what we'll be able to actually like maintain now, which is pretty huge. Oh, 
I do like that. And obviously I can expand this to go even faster if we needed to. But I think at this point, our, our speed of research is far faster than our capacity to maintain packs. So I don't think it's worth it to go that much faster. But yeah, look at that. And I know some people have said Disco Science is now no longer a needed mod, but like these do not look the same as Disco Labs. They do look cool. Don't get me wrong, they look really cool, but they're not, you know, they're not anywhere near as colorful as Disco Labs. Cool. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, see, we're getting 370 science a minute, but that's more than I can produce, even with the productivity stuff going on. So yeah, we will call that a beautiful success. Now, the question is, how's stuff over here? It looks pretty good. It's all stopped up. There are 60 eggs on the way. But why? Shouldn't it be disabled? It is disabled. I wonder if that just happened. Okay, good. The eggs are getting recycled as they should be. And now it's not... Uh, not requesting more. So it's just finishing the deliveries. Uh, Waskily, it looks like they do come. It does finish the delivery. Even after it's disabled. It just doesn't... It doesn't... Uh, start new requests if it canceled deliveries that were in motion that would cause way more problems i think i'm very glad it works this way where the deliveries that were in process uh finish because deliveries are kind of already accounted for when it's calculating like numbers logistic network numbers request numbers like all of the things are like changed as soon as a bot is ordered to do something so you wouldn't want those numbers then changing again if a bot got canceled on the way all the time because these were disabling. So I actually think that's the way we would want it to work. But yeah, so once those eggs all get here, they'll just get trashed and we've got our more bio labs when we want them, if we want them. Cool. Yay. We did a thing. I was excited about that since we read the FFF. So it was, it was fun to finally get that done. So, what else do we have to do still? So, we did Biter Eggs and Bio Labs. We can check that off the to-do list. Ah, redoing my mining with Big Miners is next on the list. And then... Probably... Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry. I didn't mention this. We did redo... <laughs> I, I just did a very quick and dirty, like, move the iron ore over. Just, I didn't even... This is like the most hacked together. Didn't I say I was gonna play slow and do things right when I started this playthrough? I don't know what's happened to that Crydax. That Crydax is dead and gone. Um, anyway, we're just requesting calcite and just doing basic molten iron to stacked iron plates, because I really wanted stacked plates. And I mean, even just these two steps, we, I calculated it and we get over triple the amount of iron plates. So. We, and we needed some some stacked plates for our, you know, the thing we built, the gambler, the Gambletron 3000, as I'm calling it. Um, we needed the stacked plates for this. So, by the way, how has the Gambletron been functioning? It looks like we're low on plastic, which is interesting. I wonder if that's a petroleum issue. It is a petroleum issue. Um. And that's a light oil issue which seems like some prod modules would help but we're actually out of crude oil so it seems like i need some speed uh beaconage and we need, can just tap into this crude oil so let's put that on our to-do list more crude oil put that on our list um We could also, yeah, we could use this coal patch once we have big miners there to do coal liquefaction. That would be another easy way to get a lot of oil because 
2.6 million once we put the big miners on top of it which i have uncommons that's gonna be like 8 million or something ridiculous worth of coal oh and i, I even have coal over here i could put some big miners on so yeah we we've got plenty of coal for that maybe i just use that i'll just use the oil i have oil why, why do coal liquefaction before i need to um we'll tap into all the oil we'll put speed modules in the pump jacks and that alone should get us a, a lot more so that'll get done anyway uh what i wanted to look at was the production stats for quality module three um i wanted to see what epics have kind of settled down to it i think yeah you're kind of seeing this spike because this is where I think we've now reached the equilibrium on the rares. I guess not quite. Yeah, now we have. See, we made 29 and we recycled 29. So what that means is we are now putting all of our resources. Um, and again, I don't remember if I did this after the stream. I had initially set I had wanted a lot of rares, but I was like, let's let's just get to 20 rares. So each of these chests should have 20 uh, rare Q3s. Yes, and yeah. So now at this point, they're recycling the rares that they make into the components. And then, you know, that'll make more epics now that we're recycling the rares. So all that to say, we are now putting every single bit of resources that comes this way is going towards epic quality three modules, which is very cool. And by having more epic quality three modules, then, well, I guess the first thing I should do is actually um, keep improving. I have 23 in my inventory. So we should, what are, what are they doing? Oh, the bioflux, which is turning to spoilage. I need a spoilage getter ridder of her in the base. Uh, it's possible that I should use some filtered storage chests for bioflux so that we can um, mm, get rid of the spoilage without using bots. Certainly would be an option. Uh, anyway, get rid of spoilage, add tag. I want to keep a lot of it because we can make nutrients with it without having to worry about the thing I'm making nutrients out of spoiling. So it is nice for that, but I don't want to have like 500,000 or something. So anyway, back to what I was doing. I want to grab these epics and put them in the Gambletron. So we've already got the recyclers, I think, are all epicked up. So next is the higher quality makers. Get those all epicked up. So that's good. And then finally, we'll put just the base level makers to get all epicked up. And that leaves me with a good stockpile of rares when I want to start prod 3 module production, which we will be doing. Now, that's a whole mess. I talked about this in the last episode, I think, or it was in the stream. Because biter eggs are an ingredient in prod 3 modules, we have a bit of a mess on our hands with... Um, yeah, I could have just copy-pasted that. It was a small enough work order that I just did it manually. But anyway, yeah, uh, one question I guess I have is when you recycle a prod 3 module and it gives you back a biter egg, what spoilage or freshness is the biter egg at? Does it restart fully fresh? Or does it, I mean, it would have to, right? Because a prod 3 module doesn't, or does it just never give you biter eggs back? That would be a whole nother can of worms, can of biters. I do not know the answer to these questions, but we probably should be calling it an episode soon because we're an hour and 14 minutes into this recording. A full stack of biter eggs only spoiled into four biters? What? That's lame. I don't like that. That's 
super lame. How did I get fish? Oh, it must have been when I constructed those robo ports over the water. That must be what happened. Wow, we are really not getting many red circuits. What's going on? Oh, it's just the plastic issue. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll fix that. That's on our list to fix. Um, so anyway, all that gave us our transport belt three, which now means we stack things to four when we stack them, which is glorious. And I guess we could do some more plastic productivity, get some free plastic. Yeah, things are looking up. We're going to start working our way towards Aquilo once we've got a good production of all the higher quality modules and maybe some higher quality entities. Like I might do some higher quality inserters. Uh, I definitely do want higher quality beacons as well. I know Aquilo could have some power problems, at least at first, so I'll definitely want some higher quality efficiency modules. So yeah, we'll 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 still be doing a lot of prep before Aquilo, but we're like we're on our way towards Aquilo now. Which is cool. But yeah, I will call that the end of the future YouTube recorded episode. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.